what is up you guys this is your boy 8 today and i am coming to you with a highly requested tutorial for frag edits pattern crop whatever you want to call it so i'm going to basically show you my setup as you saw in the previous video that's basically my pattern crop so i'm not going to show you my exact pattern crop but what i do but what i will show you it's the basics of pattern crop and how to get things done i won't show you the exact same one i first things first all right so we delete my black bars don't need them so as you see here this is my setup i got going on i got transform s shake exposure camera lens blur twitch and exposure twice so one of the exposures are just for like the shot flashes and the other one are for black flashes that i do based like off the beat so again i'm going to delete everything i'm going to show you exa exactly what you should be doing so delete everything i'm not going to show you my settings because it's a big secret delete all right so first things first you are going to want to use transform that's basics so transform is for your pattern crop so pump what it's just wait but transform is for your pattern crop so what i like to do i like to go in the very beginning of the cinematic i'm just going to show you basics remember that so and i would like to go one maybe two uh, keyframes forward so the difference between one and two so two keyframes forward the pump is slower one keyframe is faster so it's just the speed of how fast it zooms in so what I like to do is now is I'll do 108 for my panel crop and then open that copy this I like to move it back one so it starts off small and then goes big like that so now I have to go back here again and then drag that here so it kind of like zooms in to the first clip like that but it's gonna look even better so and for this I like to go back two times put it here but for this I am going to make this even bigger so I'll do let's say 110 110 for the pan and crop so copy this the 108 again go here paste it there I'll come back to you once I paste all my keyframes and I'll explain to you guys uh, what they mean so. All right, you guys, I am back. And so as you see, I put down my keyframes. So the difference between 108 and then here as well, you have 108. And then this one is 110 because I like to add more impact on my shots. So my shots, I want them to be more bigger than the actual. But so for my shots, I'd like the pumps to be even harder than my regular like beats or the openings of the cinematics. So first things first, I am going to highlight all the keyframes, then hit F9 on the keyboard. So once that opens up, okay. So after I hit F9 on the keyboard, I like to highlight them, and then I like to open the graph editor, which is this. So if your graph editor does not look like mine or even looks different, I like to zoom it in like that. And what I like to do, I like to bring this down slightly a bit, and then just pull this a bit back. You know, just small things. And then this one as well. And then this one a bit back as well. Same with this. And same with this. Ah, okay, this is the problem. Here we go. So, 100 here. Alright, yeah, I just messed up with the keyframes. Sorry about that. So, anyway. So, I'm going to go over my keyframes again. And I'm going to see how they look. So down like that. and then just drag this a bit like I said you don't have to copy me exactly what I'm doing but this is just like a slight idea of what you should be doing so again all these keyframes like the way I do them is different so this one it kind of goes faster bringing it down a bit harder but if you want it to be slower you just kind of pull it a bit higher like that you just play with it you know you have to go off what you see and then you can play with the graph edit that's why we have the graph editor in the first place so the first thing is first oh, sorry. so after I am done with my keyframes I would like to add some rotation to it so my rotations I would like to add them to my oh, so for my rotations I would like to add them to my shots and first of it, then I'm gonna hit rotation button on here okay. so I am going to keyframe my rotation at zero. Then over here, I like to keep put this to maybe one. 
And then I would like to do the same thing for my position because I like to also have some position in my edits. So. And then put this maybe, I don't know, just bring it to it down. Maybe it's the right. Then I'll just play with it, see what is nice for you guys. Like I said, you don't have to copy me 100%. So. And then just put this back to zero. So again, so. What pan okay, positioning the pan and crop after we easy eased it, we don't touch it, we only touch rotation. So, after this is done, as you see, you got some black lines and shit, but that you can fix afterwards after highlighting everything and then scaling up. It doesn't really matter, right? So, again, so I'm going to copy these and then just drop them here. Alright, so that's my pan and crop done, just basically. Alright, but for this one, um, I might just make it a bit more higher like that, and then bring this back down to 100. So, again, you can just play with this, so it looks like this, it looks like a big zoom. Alright, then you just kind of have to fix this up. So, you play so, after you place the 100, you have to fix this up, in your graph editor, you're going to make it kind of linear you know what i mean so oh why is this oh, it should be 100 what am i doing all right here we go uh, let's just straighten this up a bit all right yeah, let's just bring this down a bit all right and yeah, bring this down all right that is done for the pan and crop now i can also show you some s shake s shake s shake okay so S shake, what I like to do is, these are my personal settings I like to play with. So I hit put one on both, because that, <coughs> with S shake, the reason why you want to put one on both is afterwards you can play with it using the X, X shake, okay. Afterwards you can play with it using X shake, Y shake and Z shake. So what I like to do, I like to hit alt on my keyboard and then open up the expressions, delete everything right linear open that then drag this to the scale right so for this I'm gonna do 100 comma 100 then 10 so so after you have your expressions linked to your scale what you want to do you want to hit comma on the keyboard put 100 then put 1 back, 10 back, back, back. so right now what we're doing is we're adding shake to the to the shots right because our shot pattern crop is 110 right so then I'm going to hit comma, then zero, then one. This is the amplitude you're telling, you're telling, uh, okay. With this expression, you're telling basically it. Every time it gets from 100 to 110, you want to make the amplitude one. That's what you're doing. So you close the brackets, then after that, you just click off. So again, don't look at it, because it looks complete whack right now. All right, so I'll actually make sure Z's off. So okay, Y shake, you want to turn off. So X random amplitude and Y shake random amplitude, you gotta turn them off. Same with uh, tilt, well no, tilt's already off, okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> so what I like to do, for this kind of song, I like to play with the wave amplitude. So let's try two, and then this one, let's try 1.5. That's for the tilt, right? It's how much is gonna tilt from left to right. And then the Y, I don't know, you can just play with it, try 2, and then 1, and then X, maybe 1, and then 1.5, actually 1.4, and then turn off motion blur, and then minimize this, and let's have a look at it, how it's going to look. The thing is, these settings, you just got to keep playing with it, and figure out what kind of settings you like, and then make your own, that's the wrong rule of thumb. So what we did here, we only added the X shake on the shots. You see, you see it rotating. But we need more of that. So it's not enough what we have. So I am going to bump up the amplitude to maybe 2.5. And then this to 1.5. And then this maybe back to 2.5 again. And then we're going to have a look at it again, see how it's going to look for us. Come on. 
Yeah, it's not enough. We can also uh, bump it up even more if we want. Uh, frequency, let's put that to 1.5. That's 2, and then 2. Alright, let's try this now. Let's see how it's gonna look. For us. <laughs> It's getting better, it's getting better. So let's let's say S shift is done. Then you can also use exposure for your shots to add some impact to it. What I like to do, uh, exposure. I like to drag two of them because the song has some black uh, flashes part. Okay. I like to add two exposures because the song has some uh, flashes of with black flash. Black, black. First things first, I would like to start with the black flashes. So I'm gonna look at the, the so when you look at the waveform, you want to see where the black flash is going to be. It's going to be here. So I'm going to hit exposure. Go one forward. Drop this down, maybe 2.93. Copy this. Paste it here, go forward, paste another one, go forward, paste another one, go forward, paste another one, go forward, and paste another one, go forward, paste another one, go forward. Alright, I would like to highlight these, easy ease them, so they look smoother, and for the shots, again, put this on, forward again, and then put point 0.8. I like point 0.8 because it doesn't look too bright. Alright, copy this, and then let's move it to this clip here. Put that to zero. So after you put point 0.8, go to the end of where the cinemax is about to start, and then put that back down to zero, and then copy that, and then just drop that here. Alright, so. Let's watch this and see how it's going to look. Alright, that's the exposure done. That's part of my final crop. Now, I would like to add another S shake just for the sins. Alright, so as you know, we're back and like I said, I am going to do S shake specifically for the cinematics. So what I would like to do again, I'll stick this into my adjustment uh, layer and set this up to one. Hit Alt and then hit the stopwatch. Should open up now. Yep. Then type in linear. I can't even spell uh, linear. Open brackets and then grab this pick whip. Stick that to scale and then comma 100 comma 108 now we're doing 108 here yeah, because the shots were 110 cinematics about 108 and then comma again zero then one so that is done i like to stick this on and x shake all right so tilt uh will be uh two wave amplitude will be two as well so and then for then i am gonna do some y shake Gonna do this maybe about 1.3 and then 1 X. Maybe I will do the X to about 1 and then wave amplitude to maybe 2. And then I am gonna just ramp preview this to see how it's gonna look. This should be good to go. Give me a second, it's gonna look. <laughs> done you could also use twitch on your shot effects which will give it some more emphasis so personally I'd like to keep it low but fast maybe 50 and then where's the shot so this is a shot put a one back check these on forward oh sorry <laughs> 
there was a lot of keyframes. Put this to zero. Zero and go forward. Zero, zero. So enable. I am gonna enable slide. Blur. So go operator controls. Blur. Maybe change that to about 15. And twitch maybe 10. Make that red. You can just pick your blur color as well. Ooh, kinda cool. When it happens, slide. Maybe 30. You can even uh, add the RGB split on it. So I think it'll be cool if we do that. And then twitch maybe 10. Alright. Let's run preview and see how it's gonna look. Alright, I just see this is a bit too much, so I am going to reduce the speed, maybe 20, and then just copy these, put them here, easy ease all, so let's run preview and see how it's going. Again, these uh, two settings aren't perfect, but it gives you an example of what you can do with just experimenting. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please do make sure you drop a like and comment what other tutorials you'd like to see. And make sure you hit a subscribe, because that is very motivating. Oh.